Time haven't arrived. I hereby call the city council meeting for uh, Tuesday, December 26, 2017. Please stand and salute the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, have your seats. Council, we're going to take a moment of silence if we could. Uh, we're going to remember Mr. Walter Snarsky. If you knew Walter, uh, you, were, you were privileged. He taught in this school, in this building for 35 years. He was a, a Brockton guy, true and true. He passed away this week. So we're going to take a moment and remember Walter. Our thoughts and prayer with the Snarsky family. Thank you. Council, we have a, a pretty uh, lengthy agenda tonight uh, and also some uh, some points of privilege that we'll be doing. As, as you know, counselors, just as a reminder, uh, we will be meeting for the next six to eight months here in the Robin Little Theater. Of course, uh, legislative session ends tonight. I know we're joined by the two counselor elects, uh, Ward 4, Councilor Elect Susan DeCastro, thank you for being here, uh, counselor to be, and also counselor at large, Jean Derencourt, uh, elect, who will be joining us again um, on Monday, this coming Monday, January 1st. On New Year's Day, 10 o'clock at the War Memorial will be the inauguration, and we look forward to uh, a really wonderful celebration that day. Uh, Councilor Azak, please. A moment of personal privilege. Absolutely, Councilor. Um, good evening, everybody. 2017 was an eventful year, but the one thing we didn't read about on the front page of the paper was that one of our very own state representatives for the 11th Plymouth District, Claire Cronin was named the first woman to serve as the House Chair of the Ju Judiciary Committee in Massachusetts. As a woman, as a Brocktonian, that makes me very proud. So I couldn't let this event go unrecognized for the, it's one of the last meetings of this year and I had felt that we needed to recognize it and I know my colleagues all um, really appreciate all the work that Claire does for us and we're very proud of her. So Claire, if you can come on down, we have a citation to present. Councilors, tonight is uh, it's a bittersweet night. Um, the fact that we are uh, just getting through uh, the festive holiday season, and tonight's our last legislative session. I want to thank you on behalf of uh, uh, the presidency. Uh, each and every one of you did yeoman's work this year, really uh, dedicated to the residents that we serve. Um, two of our colleagues uh, did not seek re-election, two fine public servants in their own right, and uh, we're going to take a moment to, uh, to speak about them, to, uh, to thank them, to appreciate the efforts that they have done. First one is uh, Councilor Lodge, a colleague of, of mine, and, and Moses and Winthrop, uh, Councilor at Lodge, uh, Shana Bonds, who has served four years, two terms here, serving the entire city of Brockton. Um, she brought uh, and has brought so much to this, this body uh, with her experience working for Congressman Lynch, um, and also her style and fashion is without question as well. But we do, uh, we want to thank you, Councilor, for what you have done uh, to the residents uh, of all 28 uh, precincts and seven wards. We want to thank you from the bottom of our heart. Um, we have a citation uh, that I'd like to uh, present to you, Councilor. Uh, it's the official City of Brockton citation. Be it known that the Brockton City Council hereby extends its congratulations to Councilor Lodge Shana Bonds in recognition of your four years of service as a Councilor Lodge in the City of Brockton. And be it further known that the City Council extends best wishes for continued success that this citation be duly signed by the President of the City Council and attested to in a copy thereof transmitted by our fine City Clerk, Anthony Zioli. And it has been signed by all the councilors that you serve with councilors. So we want to thank you. Thank you. Oh my goodness, thank you. Thank you. Oh, so sweet. Oh my God, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Bob. Thank you. Thank you very much. Council, you can have the floor if you want to say a few, a few well, words. I, I did write a couple things down, <laughs> just in case. Just in case. I did not take my own advice that when given the opportunity to say nothing, to do that. But I want to um, just... I did write a couple things down. Uh, it truly, truly has been my honor to serve with all of you and to have uh, met some of you for the first time and to have become a little bit more intimate with, some, with the, the others um, serving with you. 
and definitely uh, being a city councilor, it's, a, it's an exercise in a baptism by fire. There is no class, uh, there, there is really no, no kind of you know, welcome uh, new guy, you, you're just thrown in. And Councilor Azek and I, we joked initially that on the first couple of sessions of the first year that we were on in 2014, the votes are alphabetical. So the first two votes were the first two new guys uh, on the council and we were like, wait, 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 wait. Uh, so, but I want to thank my, my colleagues and my friends in government for putting up with me and allowing me to question things, allowing me to um, have questions, allowing me to be independent when I needed to be, respecting uh, my position on things. And I also want to thank the residents of Brockton for respecting um, my position on things. And, and I hope to have brought what you wanted to this, well, not this chamber, but the chamber. I, I would hope to have done that for you in the, to the best of my ability. That was my aim. And I, I do hope that that was um, realized. And I will always uh, cherish the people that I met here and the, the people of Brockton. And you never know really where your path is going to lead you. Uh, so I want to say to everybody in the city of Brockton, if you have just an inkling, just an itch that you want to run for office, you do it. That could be your destiny. The, you, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So I will tell you right now to do it. It is fulfilling. It's, it's, it's a lot and you know, it, it definitely has its, its trying moments. But um, when you come to this point and you're either ready to go and you, you've decided to step aside, you'll look back and you'll see that it was all worth it. And um, the people that you served, uh, when they, they tell you that, you know, that you did a good job, and I, I haven't gotten any good riddance you know, messages <laughs> or anything yet, so uh, I'm good, I'm still hopeful. Um, let's see, let's see. Oh, I, yeah, I did want to um, just, I wanted to just hope that I could be um, influential, productive, contributory, um, and effective while I was here. And I wish you all well. I wish the two new councilors very well. Uh, you all will definitely be an asset to, to this council, to the city, to the legislative matters that go forward. You have some tough times ahead. Uh, we, can, we can foresee that. We can, we can predict that. And I think that when you all get on and you work with these fine people here, that uh, the city of Brockton will only be the better for it. So I am glad to have served. I'm glad to have been here with you all. I'm glad to have served you all and all of you. And um, thank you very much, and I'll see you around. <laughs>
had a saying. The fish ain't been caught yet that didn't open his mouth. <laughs> so I'm going to be real careful. I just want to thank everybody. My fellow counselors, Mr. Clerk, people, Claire Cronin, I see you. Uh, Dennis DiNapoli, who uh, had invited me to Florida, I couldn't make it. Uh, but uh, I really, I thank all of my constituents, all of my friends, and all of my family, which uh, a lot of them are in Ward 4. I don't know what that means exactly. Well, that's the one that I, you know, that's right, okay. I had 34 years with the police, which was wonderful, 12 years with the council, and I enjoyed, uh, just, just enjoyed it all. But the best job I had was back in the early 60s as a lifeguard at the Camp Old Pool. <laughs> with that, thank you very much. Again, we want to uh, we want to thank Council at Large Bonds and Councilor Stadensky, and you know we welcome Gene and Susan um, as we as we move forward to the next legislative session. And thankfully, I won't be sitting here as president, so that's a good thing. Um, with that being said, if we could go on to the agenda, please. The acceptance of the minutes of the December 11, 2017 Council meeting. Accepted and placed on file. Appointment filed by Eric A. McGuire to the rank of file lieutenant in the Brockton Fire Department. Council Cruz. Uh, Mr. President, due to the lateness of the uh, legislative session, I make a motion that we take items two and three collectively and also act on them under the suspension of the rules this evening. Second. Take the vote first, take them collectively. All in favor, take them collectively. All opposed, that motion carries. If we could read number three, please. The appointment of Roger J. Dwyer to the rank of fire captain in the Brockton Fire Department. Now, uh, with that being said, there's a motion on the floor to take under suspension of rules. All in favor, take under suspension of rules. All opposed, that motion carries. Uh, there's going to be a roll call vote on agenda items number two and number three collectively, please. If the roll could be please read. Azak? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Ian Yes. Barlow? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monahan? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Kudensky? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Eleven confirmed. Uh, both uh, appointments are uh, confirmed, and if the gentleman could please come forward so we can recognize them. Minute recess, if we could, please. Because we're going back in, if I could, we're back in the session. Got some more on a hand, please. Reconsiderations okay. and hopes it does not have to be bad. It's motion on the floor, properly second. Reconsideration, hopes it doesn't fail. All in favor of reconsideration, please raise your hand. All opposed, motion for reconsideration does not prevail. Thank you, Councilor. If we could go on to number four, please. The appointment of Officer Andrew Kalb to the rank of Sergeant in the Brockton Police Department, effective December 5th, 2017. Councilor. If I may uh, ask for this to be, actually for number four to be uh, taken this evening under the suspension of the rules. It's a motion on the floor, property seconded to take agenda item number four under suspension of rules. All in favor, please raise your hand. All opposed, that motion carries. We'll act under suspension of rules. And I just wanted to actually add, I did speak with Officer Kalp. Uh, unfortunately, due to circumstances beyond his control, he would not, he's not able to be here with his family. Um, so he did ask for us to um, please consider this this evening in his promotion to sergeant for the Brockton Police Department. Thank you, Councilor. There's a motion on the floor, and we, and we already did that properly. So now it comes before us a roll call vote. Uh, Madam Clerk, if you could kindly read the roll. Yes. Appointment is hereby confirmed. President. Counselor. I move uh, reconsideration. The hope it does not prevail. Second. second. It's motion on the floor for reconsideration is probably second. Reconsideration hopes it doesn't prevail. All in favor of reconsideration, please raise your hand. All opposed. Motion for reconsideration does not prevail. Thank you, counselors. Go on to number five, please. I move Steve Holt to the Brockton Traffic Commission for a three year term. It's referred to Finance Committee. The report of the Audience Committee for its meeting of December 7, 2017. That is accepted and placed on file. Report for the Finance Committee for its meeting December 18, 2017. That too is accepted and placed on file.
27 zoning <coughs> revised on as the city of Brockton, Article 8, <coughs> 18. Yep, that's right, go ahead. That's the Street Smith Grove Overlay District. In City Council, October 10th, 2017, council filed a motion to refer the Finance Committee, properly seconded. The motion was carried by a second vote. Report is favorable. The question is on the ordination of the, by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monahan? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Savinsky? Yes. Eight new farmers? Seven ideas. The order is uh, adopted. Mr. President Brockton? Mr. President, I move for reconsideration. The hopes does not prevail. Second. Yes. Motion has been made and seconded for reconsideration. Hopes it does not prevail. All in favor of reconsideration? All opposed? Reconsideration fails. Same transferability. In council August 28, 2017, ready to refer the committee on ordinance. That report is favorable as amended. Questions on the amendment? All in favor of the amendment, please raise your hand. All opposed? Amendment carries. Questions on a passage to a third reading as amended by a hand vote? Pass to a third reading as amended. Raise your hand. If you're opposed, raise your hand. It passes the third reading. Number 10, please. An audit amended chapter 17, article 4, division 2, historical district commission and division 3, certificates and appropriateness, non impactability or hardship in council September 25th, 2017. Ready to refer the committee on audits. That report is favorable. Questions on passage to a third reading by hand vote. All in favor, please raise your hand. All opposed? Uh, passed to a third reading. Audit in reference to article 3, section 2 110, city of Brockton audits, waive of resident. Residency extension in council December 11, 2017. Ready to refer to committee on finance. That report is favorable. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote with a kind. Yes, sir. Simply because some people may see finance and not see this meeting. I know the vote, I was the only one uh, in opposition. Uh, for the public, it's not anything to do with the gentleman personally. Uh, it is the fact that he is a member of a union. He admitted that he knew the residency requirement. He signed a, an acknowledgement that he knew residency. And for me, you just have to be uniform and consistent. I was not persuaded that he presented uh, compelling arguments to merit a waiver of residency. So thank you for your indulgence. Thank you, Council. The questions on adoption of a roll, roll call vote. Madam Clerk, kindly read the roll. Yes. Barnes? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Yes. Farwell? No. Lally? Yes. Monahan? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Savinsky? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Can I be affirmative one of the negatives? Constance, before I do a ratification vote on that, do remember that we stipulated that it would be six months. There would not be any additional time granted. And it, again, a legislative session dies tonight, but the council next year will also echo those sentiments. Um, the matter is ordained. Go on to the next agenda item, please. Resolve the Mayor, City Solicitor, and City Planner appear before the Finance Committee to discuss the Plymouth County owned building, the former Brockton District Court building, and associated land located on and at 155 West Down Street that is currently being offered for sale by the county. In Council, December 11, 2017, refer the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, kindly read the roll. Yes. Cruz? Yes. Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monahan? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. 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 Sullivan? Yes. Eleven to be affirmative. Resolve is confirmed. I'm going to go on to the number 12, please. Or 13, Philip actually. Philip M. D. Cass of 172 Augusta Ave, Brockton, as a constable of the City of Brockton for a term of three years, and council November 27, 2017. Ready to refer the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Questions of confirmation by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, kindly read the roll. Yes. Barnes? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Neary? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monahan? Yes. Virginia? Yes. 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 Appointment is confirmed.
50, DPW is authorized to issue a residential single family sewer connection to Eagle Division Field. LLC, Richard Costa, manager for the property located at 27 Mulberry Street. Councilor Lally. Uh, Mr. President, I'd like to motion yeah, that we uh, do this now. Act on the suspension rules tonight. Motion on the floor is properly seconded. Act on the suspension rules. All in favor, please raise your hand. If you're opposed, please raise your hand. It passes. We're going to take uh, a roll call vote and act on the suspension of the rules. Madam Clerk, kindly read the roll. Yes. 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 Carlo? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monian? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. 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 The order is ordained, Councilor. Councilor, do you want to make a motion to reconsider? Motion to reconsider in the hope it does not prevail. Second. Okay. This motion on the floor is properly second. Reconsideration hopes it doesn't prevail. All in favor of reconsideration, please raise your hand. All opposed? Motion for reconsideration does not prevail. Councilors, that's it for tonight relative to the agenda item. I do want to thank each and every one of you. Um, it was an honor to serve as your president this year. I also want to thank our city clerk and his staff uh, for everything that they have done um, to accommodate us. Again, this is the second time that we've been um, taken away from the chambers at City Hall due to the elevator being broken. And this one's going to be very, very lengthy. <coughs> I also want to thank um, both uh, Connie and Mel for what they do when we serve as a finance committee. Um, you know, it, it, this is just two pieces of paper, but there's a lot of time and effort to generate this agenda. So we want to thank everybody for their efforts on that. And again, we want to wish Paul and Shana the best on their endeavors. I know they're not going anywhere. We're going to see them. Councilor Cruz. Thank you. I just uh, wanted to take a moment of personal privilege. Absolutely. If I could. Thank you. And uh, I, I do want to thank you on behalf of the committee, but I can tell you as a former president, this, it's a tough job to do. It's a particularly tough job this year. The geography has been <coughs> extremely difficult, and you've done a great job working with our city clerk, who's done a phenomenal job. This is not a perfect solution to anything, but the fact that our meetings have been pulled off without, without a hitch, in tough situations, we've met at different schools, we've met here, uh, you've done a great job, and I want to thank you. Uh, again, I, I, I think if you haven't been council president, you wouldn't understand how much work goes on behind the scenes, making sure that we can get here and have our meeting with, uh, uh, under the legalities of the open meeting law and with all the difficulties uh, involved. So I want to thank you. Thank you, Councilor. And then I would be personally remiss if I didn't take a moment to thank my colleague. I've been in, in around Brockton politics and my family for a long, long time. It's been 65 years that there's been a Stadensky serving, other than maybe one or two years here or there serving on this body or serving the people of Brockton and truly serving the people of Brockton. Whenever I get frustrated and think how tough this job can be, I think about Paul the father and Paul the son, who quietly have always gone about that job, never asked for anything beyond what we're here for, always did it for the people of, ward, of their ward, whether they were an at-large or a mayor or a state representative in the old double district. And uh, it's going to be a sad day. I, I, I am going to miss my colleague, Councillor Barnes, but I am really going to miss the fact that for all of my political mm -hmm. life, there's been a Stadensky around to help me see the way. And I'm going to miss him greatly, and I'm going to miss the Stadensky family here. So thank you very much. Okay, thank you. A moment of personal privilege. Yes, thank you. First of all, this is the holiday season, and we want to thank everyone. And we work closely with also with the clerk's office, and we're very fond of our clerk and how much he does, and we're grateful for our new solicitor. And uh, we've had a lot of changes this year, besides the fact that we've been the traveling counselor and council, I mean, whether we're at the Arnone City cha Hall Chambers or what have you, and there's a whole lot that goes on in the city. But we have a lot of, um, we're, we're here at the schools, and I just always want to highlight the schools and the talent that's in our city, and this is the holiday season. They had this, this whole thing, sharing their gifts with us that the kids you know, were drawn of all ages in the city, and they win all their prizes and things. And it, you know, as, as this progresses, we're going to be here probably a lot in the schools, and we're just going to see repeatedly the talent and the hard work of the teachers and our superintendent and all the, the remarkable people that make up such a successful school system. So anyway, I hope that in 2018 we'll see a more opportunity and positive uh, direction for not only our schools but our community as a whole. Thank, Thank you. you. A moment of personal privilege. Sure. 
Um, as everybody knows, and I'm sure they've read in the paper, we're um, going into a new contract with our trash, um, with our trash a contract and recycling. So um, more information will come soon. I know the DPW and the mayor's office have been working really hard on getting the best possible deal for the residents. So we will put the information out there. There'll be a lot of education and a lot of um, you know, meetings. I know many of uh, my colleagues will have ward meetings to explain uh, the, the new system. But in the meantime, um, as the Christmas season comes to an end, I know a lot of people that are throwing out their natural Christmas trees. So um, please do not put them in plastic bags as plastic bags do cause problems in recycling. So no plastic bags, just leave your natural Christmas trees on the curb and they will get picked during the regular um, trash pickup. So thank you and um, um, happy new year to everybody. Thank, thank you. you. Council Fowell, please. Absolutely. I just wanted to let uh, folks at home and folks in the, well, I guess you call it chamber, uh, know um, that on January 30th at 6.30 p.m. at the Ashfield Middle School, there will be a meeting to talk about, uh, or the old Colony Planning Council's uh, involved, to talk about the intersection with Chestnut Street in Abington, uh, North Quincy Street and Boundary Ave. There have been a lot of accidents there. It's a very dangerous intersection. Uh, and they're looking to put in, you know, a mini rotary. So, you know, in uh, all four, all four uh, properties on the corner have, you know, volunteered to give up some frontage in order to make it work. Uh, so they're uh, about a quarter of the way done. Uh, so they've got a good, good part of the plan to show. And this is the part where they want to get public input, uh, see what people think about it before they go any further. This is the key time to, uh, to let them know what you think in order to have an effect in what the actual finished product looks like. So once again, January 30th, 6.30 p.m. at the Ashfield Middle School. Thank you, Council. Council Fowell, please. Personal privilege. Yes, sir. I'm going to go back to Councilor Stadensky for a minute. And it was 42 years ago this past September when I walked into the Brockton Police Department and I was a transfer. I didn't come out of a class. You were at the 4 to 12 roll call with Mike Dadak. And from that point on, you and I have had a friendship and we've had a professional working relationship. And as much as the rest of the people in this room know you, it's different when you wear a uniform because you never know if that person is gonna be the one to save your life and respond and help you out when you need it. And so for all that you've done for me, particularly as mayor when I appointed you as police chief, I never had to worry about the police department. I always knew you were going to do the right thing. You made the decisions, you assigned the people, you used very limited resources, and in my opinion, you did so much for the city that really never came to light because you were juggling cruisers and people and personnel. And for all of those reasons, I think we all owe you a, a tremendous debt of gratitude but most importantly, I can never thank you enough for your friendship. Councilor Thank you, thank you, Mr. President. And just to ditto some some of the things that some of my uh, colleagues have said here uh, this evening about our outgoing uh, uh, colleagues, and, and and you as serving as our City Council President, uh, I do want to take a, a moment to uh, commend you. Thank you. Um, for your job this year, you've done an outstanding job, and uh, as uh, Councilor Cruz said, a lot of people do not realize that you know being council president uh, takes a lot of time and takes a lot of effort to what has to go into that position. Or as we all said to a lot of people during the campaign, a lot of people don't realize what it's like to be a city councilor until you're here. Um, it takes a lot of work and time and effort, um, but in any case, you did it, and you did an outstanding job. So Thank you, Councilor. Hopefully that, uh, that next person that comes in to fill will uh, fill the shoes the way that they should be filled. So I, I can foresee that uh, happening. I do want to commend uh, and thank uh, Councilor Barnes. Um, she did an outstanding job for four years. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and when I served as Council President, you would just come in, uh, uh, you know, come in to um, you know, the Council. And I thank you for your support back then. And uh, appreciate all your, your efforts you did. Uh, Again, an omen's job, you, you work for the people, you came here to do that, and you, you've done that. And you want to move on to do some other things, and whether modeling's one, I don't know, but in any case, 
Um, in any case, I wish you the best of luck. I, I think you, you do an outstanding job in whatever, in whatever you do um, for the future. To um, Councilor Stadinsky, my colleague uh, from Ward 4, I don't know where I go back. I, I could go back to your father and my father to the day that they stole my grandfather's car and took off a half a day. And to this day, I never know where they went because my father said, ah, someday I'll tell you. Well, God bless. <laughs> They're probably laughing right now and, and sharing that story that you and I don't know. But um, that's how many years that, uh, that we go back in the Stadinsky family when uh, your father and my father used to hang out down in that Warren Ave area, and you, you know, Nielsen Street, right at the corner store. And God, it, and it was their home. It was their home. That's what they called it. It was a home. But uh, in, enjoyed the uh, company of everybody within. And, uh, and as time went on, you know, I had the great pleasure of, um, you know, even serving with you, with your father when he was mayor here, or, um, when I was on the, I was on the school committee, as everybody knows. So we were, we were, <laughs> we were here, and, and they were difficult times when he was here too. But um, he did an outstanding job. But I just want to, uh, I want to thank you for um, for all you you've done here, and, and the many times that you and I conversed back and forth on, on ward issues. Uh, you're a great ward councilor. You did a tremendous job for your people, and and I know that they're. Uh, they're gonna, they're gonna miss you, um, and, and I know the next person stepping up is gonna get some shoes to fill, but I'm sure she's gonna do an outstanding job to, to watch out for the people of Ward 4. So uh, I commend you and I thank you, and um, you know where we are at all times, Paul. We'll be right here for you anytime, you know that. You. Appreciate it, good luck, thank you. Council Monaghan. Just make it quick. Obviously, I want to thank you. As you know, you are my son, Timothy's favorite counselor. <laughs> he calls him General Pat in the way he runs the meeting. Thank God he does that. It's, I'm, I'm going to really miss Shana. She was a lot of fun. We had a lot of laughs. She did a great job. I know. She'd call me up and give me a hard time. I always had to look at her a little strange when she was giving some of those questions to her. But that's another story. And of course, Stud, only for so many years, our family together. We're going to miss you. I hope you're going to play the harmonica still with us and the, and the chords. All right. <laughs> we'll talk later. <laughs> but I think the most important thing we're missing here tonight is that we now have, with, with Stud resigning, we now have the last politician that was born in the 1800s on this council. <laughs> so I want to thank you for your service, Paul. You did a great job, and Shana. And you. Any other councils? Uh, councils, just a couple points of information before we conclude the legislative session. Um, the council at large this year, we did the four quarterly meetings. Uh, I know that uh, that will continue next legislation uh, session as well. Um, we will be doing those uh, every, every quarter. Um, and next year, uh, I have only one of 11, but I hope my colleagues will also echo the sentiments. Going forward, when invited guests do not appear, unless there is a uh, written or a telephone call to the president, I'm gonna stand up every single time and make a motion to postpone that matter. Specifically during the budget, as we saw this year, where department heads didn't appear, they sent proxies. That's unacceptable going forward. So again, I will be one, and I'm sure many of you will join that echo with those sentiments and support that endeavor. If the person is invited and doesn't appear, unless there really is a good reason why he or she can't appear, we're going to make a motion to postpone. At least I am, and I hope, I hope you follow those sentiments. With that being said, again, thank you very much to everybody. Uh, we really had a good, a good session. We're going to have a tough session. The finances aren't getting any better, so we're going to work hard. We're going to roll up those sleeves. We're going to learn from both Paul and Shana and, and Dennis DiNapoli, and we're going to do yeoman's work and just keep doing the, fighting the good fight for the citizens that we serve. So, again, thank you very much, and uh, this night is uh, adjourned. And, again, stay around because we are going into caucus. Meeting's adjourned. <laughs>